All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 17. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue using that place value technique in the place value chart, and they're gonna be sorting their numbers to represent the, kind of like the traditional division algorithm. What's different in this lesson, though, is we're gonna have some remainders in the tens column that will then be decomposed into the ones column. So we're just adding one level of complexity to our problems as we have our students marching towards learning that standard algorithm of division. So we've got 73 divided by two, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna model 73. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is our 70 and then three, so one, two, three. So we've modeled 73, and then I'm actually gonna go down here, because uh, I need a little bit of, of a buffer, and you'll, you'll see why in a second. And here's my two groups that we're gonna be sorting or dividing by. So let's see, 73 is right here, divide by two is right here, here's our two groups. And because this algorithm way over here is a little too small, I'm going to make it a little bit larger right here, 73 divided by 2. Teachers, remember, we want kids, students saying 73 divided by 2, not 2 divided by 73. That would be incorrect. And we want our students to speak mathematically correctly. Um... So anyway, we're going to take this seven tens and we're going to divide those seven tens amongst our two groups. And when we do that, um, we're going to go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have one leftover ten because we can't go into that extra one because it then wouldn't be equal. So what does that mean? Well, we've used up six of our seven tens and we have one leftover. How would that look in our standard algorithm over here? We'd put a three right here because we're taking our seven tens, sorting it into their two groups, which means each group is gonna get three dots. We've used up six dots altogether over here, and we have one dot left over, and that's way over here. Now, the idea is we're going to take that 10 and we're going to decompose him and we're going to decompose him over into the ones column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what that means is instead of having a 10 left over, we're going to break him up and we now have 13 ones that are left over. So what is that gonna look like over here in our standard algorithm? We're just gonna take that three and we're gonna bring it down and now we have a 10 plus three ones or we could think of this as 13 ones and that's what this is right here. Now we're gonna take these 13 ones and we're gonna sort them amongst those two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now we have what does that mean? We've used 12 of our 13 dots. So we've used those three, these five, and this, these four. So we have this leftover dot right here. So how are we going to record that in our standard algorithm? Well, each group got six dots. So that means we're going to put a six right there. We used up 12 dots because six times two, six times two is 12, or six times two is 12. We have one dot left over, so our answer is 36 remainder one. All right, now I would write it up here, 36 remainder one. Now what we have to do is we have to check our work. So how are we gonna check our work? Well, we're gonna do 36 times two, and so 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 10. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 10. So that's 72, but plus we have to add in our remainder, so we get 73. And because I got 73, which is what we started with, it probably tells us, tells us that we are probably correct. 
So more of the same. Now we have 62 divided by 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2. So there's our 62. And um, I'm going to make a, our group way down here. And then we need to divide by 4. So that means we need to have four groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's our four groups. And I'm going to take 62 and I'm going to move it down here. 62 divided by 4. There. There we go. Now, I made this, teachers, a big gap here because we're going to end up doing some decomposing. You know, we're going to have a lot. We need space down here. So a little bit of a heads up there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our six tens and divide them amongst the four groups. So you got one, two, three, four, and we don't have enough to give a dot to each group again. So that tells us that we have used four, one, two, three, four of our dots. And so we have two left over, one and two. So what is that going to look like in our standard algorithm? One dot in each group means we used up four dots, and we have two dots left over. Now here's the thing. Each one of these tens can be cashed in for ten ones. So let's do that. So we have this ten right here gets cashed in for ten. And then we have this ten right here, which gets cashed in for ten. So all of a sudden, these tens are no longer in the tens column because we cashed them in for the ten in the ones column. So now how many ones do we have? Well, we have 10 plus 10 plus 2, so that's 22. So what is that going to look like over here in our standard algorithm? Well, this is two tens, plus we're going to add in two ones. So that's, that means we have 22 ones. And now it's time for us to sort those 22 ones into our four groups. So. Let's count. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we don't have enough to continue, so that means we've used 20. Now that's an easy one. It's just crossing off all these and all these. So we've got two left over. These two are left over. So what is that going to look like in our standard algorithm? Well, we had 22 dots sorted amongst five group, uh, four groups, which means you have five in each group, which means you used up 20 dots, and you have two dots left over. So our quotient is 15, and our remainder is 2. So how, how do we check it? Well, we begin by multiplying 15 times 4, so 4 times 5 is 20, so that's a 0. Carry the 2 into the tens column. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, so that's 60. And then we add in our remainder, so 60 plus 2 is 62. And that's exactly what we started with, so that suggests that we're probably correct. So teachers, we're using the place value chart to make the standard algorithm make sense. So what can you do with differentiation? Well, if you have some students who no longer need the dots, tell them to put the dots away and just use the standard algorithm. The, the point of Common Core standards isn't to prevent kids from using the algorithm. The point is to teach these dots so that when the algorithm is ready to be learned, it makes sense. So if you have students who understand the standard algorithm, great. They no longer need to do these dots. Last example. I'm going to do this one really fast. 84. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's our 80. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our 84. And we are going to leave some space here. There's our space, and now we need three groups. One, two, three. And I'm going to take that 84, and I'm going to write it over here. 84 divided by 3. 
All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort our eight tens into three groups. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And that means we used six dots, and we have these two tens left over. So what is that going to look like in our standard algorithm? It's going to look like this. So we have two tens left over. Now each of these tens can be cached in for ten ones. So that means this ten right here gets cached in for ten ones, and this ten right here gets cached in for ten ones. So what does that mean? That means they're not there anymore because they got cached in for the, the ones. So how many ones do we have now? We now have 24. So over here on the standard algorithm, that 4 comes down and we now have 24 ones. We're going to take those 24 ones and we're going to sort them into three piles. And that's going to be real quick and easy because that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And so how many does each group get? Each group gets 8. So that's 8 in each group. We used up all 24. We have no remainders whatsoever. That means everything got used perfectly. And so our quotient is 28, and our remainder is zilch. So 28 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So there's our 84, which is exactly what we started with. So that suggests to us that we are probably correct. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 17, where students are being required to decompose a remainder in the tens, and we're still marching towards that standard algorithm.